All right, so today what we're doing is Merlin Tone. I showed you last year. The only thing different this year is that this year these are from the ones that we grew right back there on the pear tree. Um, this year I'm going to start it. I'm going to show you the one that we actually bought in the high tunnel. It's doing really good. So I wanted to show you that one. And we got four here. So these four that we saved, I think we might have ate one uh, from that last harvest. And like this one, you can see, I'll take it out, but you can see right on the edge is rottening. So I think we end up giving like two to the chickens because I was trying to hold them because I want to see if these actually do better than, let me put that down. I want to see if these do better than the ones that we bought from the store. So what I got right here, I'm going to show you is, let me see if I can bring that down. I got little buckets and that's kind of basically how we're going to start them up. Uh, so let me walk in here and show you first off. I think actually i think that it's actually doing really quite well what do you think so when i put it in remember they had this long tap root that was coming out of the bottom and i had to end up breaking it to actually get it uh back here and we was on the fence whether or not it would actually what you doing back here got a little bird and got stuck back here <laughs> uh so uh yeah but look at it i think it was about if i'm not mistaken about right here when we put it back here but you can see how it's grabbing and what i like about this is this is the winter time this is just what is done through the winter uh i know just from experience everything back here once the spring really really hits so it's still getting those super cold nights in here the only thing is it's protected from it's protected from the frost. So that's that's what's the difference in the high tunnel. I think because the high tunnel is so huge, that's the reason why it's like an ecosystem. If we had a small one, then a lot of this stuff probably would die from not being uh even like the moringa you can see the moringa up there a lot of this stuff would like really die if it wasn't for how huge the uh system is if it was a smaller one like i say it wouldn't really offer that much protection but being so huge i'm gonna show you this it's so like it holds the moisture the heat from the ground at night goes up into the ceiling and you see this water I like to make it rain. I'm going to show you this. I make it rain. So when I come in, I say this is my way of like making stuff rain. You know what? You can see this. When I... Maybe you can see it, but you can hear the rain falling. And that's just the night, uh, the condensation. really cool that's the condensation from the night so i'm gonna sit this over here and i'm gonna actually show you so i can sit this down all right so here we go this is what we're gonna do is you can't keep this outside because the cold will kill it being that i have the high tunnel i'm gonna actually just plant them and put them in the high tunnel last year i planted them and i put them in the house and when spring came, that's when I started bringing them out, letting them get some uh, sun. So this is my biggest one. Look at how huge that is, but look at that. It's like life. It's like it's opening up and it's giving out that life. This, two years ago, I planted all my Merlin toys like this, like straight in the ground like this. It's gonna grow, but it's not gonna grow that well last year i went to a nursery and i saw they were selling a merlinton like this and i was like the top was showing and i was like wait a minute and the vine actually was coming out of the ground so i said oh now i understand so you actually and this soil is kind of warm so i probably shouldn't do this but i'm gonna do it anyway 
I probably should have put it in a high tunnel overnight. But anyway, so basically, you want to put this in, cover it up right to around where that little head could kind of stick out. What's going to happen, you saw that root that was under there, that vine that was under there? That vine, once the roots come out of here, is going to get stronger, and that vine is going to actually uh, come out somewhere, here, 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 somewhere. Once the vine comes out, you're going to take a, a little small stake and stake right where that vine is. That way, you'll be able to uh, train it up until you can tell the spring comes and warms up and you can actually put it uh, in a pot or in the ground. So here I go. I'm going to do this one. I don't know if this one's going to make it, but I'm going to do it. Put it on up in there. Cover it up. Don't forget to water these. I'm not going to water it on camera, but don't forget to water them. So that's two. So remember, I got that big one in there. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I don't know if I'm going to put them outside somewhere. <sighs> I don't know. I might. Maybe I could put it on that fence line by the chickens or something. Put another one in. So with the last one, I'm going to show you how it actually looks. I'm gonna try it at least. So let me bring this right here. I'm gonna try to show you. <laughs> how, this is how it actually looks. So you wanna put this in, I'm gonna give me a nice, hopefully I don't break the vine. But basically I wanna put it in there, and that vine. See how that's kinda, I wanna slowly, slowly, all right. The vine will do this naturally on its own. I'll try to get it back to that middle. So the vine would actually do this naturally on its own. But here's the idea of what you're gonna see uh, probably in like a, I'm gonna say a month. Even though it probably should happen better than that if you fertilize them. Once those roots take, once the roots finally take, that's when it's gonna hit. But you see that? Once you see this little vine starting to come out, it's going to start growing well for you. So this is what you're going to be waiting on. You can leave it on your counter until that happens. And I, I think that might would have been the best thing to wait till all of them start to vine out. And you get a long enough vine where you can plant the Merlinton. And you'll still have that piece of vine on top of the ground. Because that's going to pull in those... Uh, nutrients out of the air and you know just out of your environment is going to pull that sun that photosynthesis all that is going to help those roots under there grow even stronger so either or if you got merlintons either or should be a good idea so go ahead plant just some merlintons i gotta go it's cold outside i'm gonna throw these in the high tunnel you see everything staying alive up in there right so i'm gonna throw this up in the high tunnel and don't worry, I know y'all been worried about my high tone saying that I'm not doing enough inside of it, all of that, but this year it's probably gonna get better, right? So, got more plans, I'm still working on trying to understand everything, the environment inside of it. So, we got more plans, every year gets better, little, little, little by little. That's what I want you to try, just little by little, every year you're gonna do better. So, thank y'all for watching the Grow From Your Network, and as always, go ahead and grow, grow, grow. Peace.